Hello everyone, this is John from Vulgar Kitten Studios and uh, welcome to part 6 of our third person uh, shooter series. And what we're going to do today is just a little bit of polish. And one thing that I had not noticed is the, for some reason, the step offset is actually broken on this character controller. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure why that's happening, but we can't go up steps. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over into the scene view and I'm just going to make this a slope. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, well, let me come into the top view, and I'm going to come into the environment and go into the stairs, and I'm going to create a 3D object and make that a cube. And I'm just going to hold control, and I'm going to center that uh, pretty much in the center of the stairs. And I'm going to hold control and just bump that up a couple times as well and now what I want to do is I want to take off the mesh filter and take off the mesh renderer of the cube and I want to keep the box collider on there uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scale this down quite a bit so I'm going to scale it to where it's almost completely flush uh, with itself and I'm just going to rotate that uh, well let's see rotate it to an angle and just put that right on top of the staircase or on top of the stairs themselves and then scale it on the Z and probably need to rotate it just a little bit more and do it like that and maybe that's too much of a scale so uh, lower the scale factor of that a little bit and maybe move it down and then scale it back up and actually let me just move it down here it doesn't actually matter if it goes through the floor at this point in time uh, this is just a temporary fix we'll definitely look at fixing the step offset here uh, in the future and uh, that looks about right let me just go ahead and increase the scale uh, to the width of the stairs and we'll go ahead and play and I'm going to go ahead and try to climb these stairs now. And yes, it's not perfect. It's definitely hackish, but it's working for right now. All right, so uh, another thing that I noticed is we actually we have the ability to correct the camera's transform if it hits a wall, uh, but we're not employing that right now. And the reason we're not is because on the, um, on the camera, we're not actually using our hit layer so we'll need to change our hit layer to something that we actually want to perform that check on uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that to everything and uh, we shouldn't have any problems with the character quite yet alright so we don't have any problems with the character but you can see if we go up now uh, then it hits the floor it comes up and this isn't a perfect system either uh, but it's definitely better than looking through walls so I'm going to get right up beside our stairs and I'm going to do this and we can see it just kind of slide along the wall there and you can still kind of get in positions where you can see uh, but generally speaking that's never going to happen so uh, that works and uh, that's pretty much it for that uh, now what we need to do is just animate our character and our player animator script at this point in time is very very short uh, so it's not going to be a problem at all as far as getting that working so I'm going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio and well I need to open the script so I'm going to open up our player animator and we already have our player controller and we already have our player animator the only thing that we or the only variable that we really need is a reference to our air velocity and uh, what we're let's see well this actually got to be a private float <laughs> alright and so we'll come down into update we're already setting the uh, grounded bool uh, so we'll need to set uh, the other stuff as well so we'll say uh, animator.set float and the float that we want to set is the animator condition dot speed and we're going to set that to input.getAxis 
and player input dot vertical for the speed. And then we'll say animator dot set float. Uh, animator condition dot direction and input dot get axis player input dot horizontal uh, for the direction. Now we just need to calculate our air velocity. Uh, so we'll say if our player controller dot grounded and we'll also need an else on that as well. And if it is grounded, then we're going to just set air velocity equal to zero. And otherwise, all we're going to do is set air velocity to subtract or subtract from air velocity uh, time dot uh, time dot time. So the amount of time that we're in the air, and that should give us a well a. <laughs> a pseudo gravity sort of thing so uh, the longer that we're in the air the faster we're falling sort of thing going on alright so uh, we're gonna go ahead and set the animator dot set float and we want to set the animator condition air velocity equal to air velocity alright so let's go ahead and go back into unity and we will go ahead and hit play and there we go so the controller that I have pre-configured is actually working like a charm alright and I actually kind of like having the uh, gun outside of the hips because it doesn't bounce now and that'll probably make firing from the hip a lot better as well and there's obviously things that you can do in script that uh, you can move the gun around in more intuitive ways uh, but for now uh, this is this is what we're going to be working with and uh, that's it for this video uh, I'll see you in the next video when we actually go ahead and wrap everything up and have a fully working third-person controller so uh, thank you for watching I'll see you then